very good morning to all of you myself anubhuti saxena your science teacher today i am going to teach you lesson 11 the name of the lesson is push and pull let's start let's warm up given below are pictures of some activities right below each if they involve pulling or pushing so we are seeing so many pictures here and activities is going on so we will write in which picture we are pulling and which picture we are pushing the first picture is showing a boy is opening the door so he is pulling so note down pulling second picture the girl is pulling the chair to sit so right pulling in the third picture the man was pulling to the dog this shows pulling in the next picture the man is pulling the rope so right pulling and in the fifth picture a girl is pushing the motor car so right pushing now start the reading of the chapter then i'll explain you do different kinds of activities during the day some involve pushing while some involve pulling in a game of tug of war you are seeing the picture here both the teams try to pull the rope towards their side in a game of wrestling the opponents push each other whenever you push or pull objects they may move force is a push or a pull so we know that we are seeing so many things in our daily routine some activities is having or showing pushing and some activities showing activities are showing pulling for example in the game of tug of war this is the game in which a rope is pulled by one team and second team other team will also try to pull the same rope to their side so in a game of tug of war both the teams try to pull the rope towards their side so in this game we are pulling in the game of wrestling the opponents push each other because when the players are coming to fight they are pushing to each other whenever we push or pull objects they may move if we are seeing a table is kept here and we need we want to move that table so we will push it or we will pull it so force is a push or a pull what can force do the different things force can do are called the effects of force so there are so many effects of force the effects of force are given below 
first a force can make a stationary object move you kick a stationary football and it moves okay fine if a ball is capped into in the ground and a player comes and he kick the ball then we see the ball moves so what the player is doing player is putting the force by putting the force player is moving the ball stationary ball which are capped stationary so a force can make a stationary object move this is the example kick a ball second a force can stop a moving object a force can up stop a moving object you stop a moving football by applying force with your foot same if a ball is coming with a very great speed so you can stop that ball by applying force with your hand or with a with your foot so a force can stop a moving object third a force can change the direction of a moving object yes when a bowler throws a ball towards you you hit it with your bat and change the direction of the ball as all of you are seeing the cricket match in the match batsman and the bowler when the bowler throws the ball towards the batsman batsman hit the ball with his bat and change the direction of the ball maybe left or right side so a force can change the direction of a moving object a force can change the shape of an object a force can change the shape of an object how you can change the shape of a toothpaste tube all of you have seen the toothpaste at your home and if you put the force by applying force on it with your fingers on the toothpaste you will see the shape of the toothpaste will be change so a force can change the shape of an object next a force can make an object move faster a force can make an object move faster how you are seeing the picture in with this picture a girl is riding a bicycle and the boy is putting some force on the back side he is pushing he was he is pushing the cycle in the same direction in which it is moving so a force can make an object move faster you can increase the speed of a moving bicycle by pushing it in the direction of direction in which it is moving same direction if you are pushing the motorcycle motor uh, bicycle then um, the speed can be increase next a force can slow down a fast moving object yes you can slow down the speed of a moving object by applying force in the direction opposite to which it is moving direction opposite to which it is moving now divide yourself into groups of four there is an activity demonstrate what what all fours can do blow your mind what is the unit of force what is the unit of force the unit of force is newton and e w t o n newton write down newton 
next kinds of forces first muscular forces muscular force when you use our muscles to push and pull things walk run cycle and so on it is called as muscular force when we are using our muscles to push or pull things for example in walking running cycling and so on it is called as muscular force second gravitational force the force exerted by the earth that attracts all objects towards itself is called gravitational force the force exerted by the earth that attracts all objects towards itself is called gravitational force you must have noticed that anything like a ball that you throw up always falls down on the earth means apple falling from the tree or a ball if you are throwing a ball up you will see it will always come falls down on the earth this is due to the earth's gravity the earth's gravitational force keeps us on its surface the earth's gravitational force keeps us on its surface if there was no gravity so what will be happen what would be happen we would be floating in the air because the earth is having gravitational force due to which we are standing on the earth if there was no gravity we would be floating in the air next next force is frictional force the force that resist motion is called frictional force the force that resist motion is called frictional force when you roll a ball on the floor it stops after moving a short distance why it is stopped due to the force of friction it is stopped due to the force of friction for frictional force to act two bodies have to be in contact frictional force is more on rough surfaces than on smooth surfaces frictional force is more on rough surfaces than on smooth surfaces take two balls we are doing one activity take two balls roll one on the floor and the other one on the road what will you see make a note of the distance they cover so you will observe that the ball on the road stops after a short distance while the ball that rolled on the floor covers the longer distance why it happens this is because the force of friction is more on the rough surface rather than a smooth surface this is because the force of friction is more on the rough surface rather than the smooth surface clear now next one is magnetic force the force exerted by a magnet on iron objects is called magnetic force the force exerted by a magnet on iron objects is called magnetic force it is a force that acts from a distance it is a force that acts from a distance now do one activity take different objects like an eraser pins 
plastic scales, nails and keys. Get them close to a magnet one by one. Means you have one magnet and take these things near the magnet one by one. You will observe that pins, nails and key keys which all are made of iron gets attracted towards the magnet while the eraser and plastic scale do not attract it towards the magnet. So the force exerted by the magnet on iron objects always on iron objects is called the magnetic force is called the magnetic force. Next quick recall force is a push or a pull force shows many effects what are they it can start or stop a movement it can change the shape and direction etc the force exerted by the muscles to pull or push things is called muscular force the force exerted by the muscles to pull or push things is called muscular force. The force exerted by the earth to attract all objects towards itself is called gravitational force. Frictional force is a force that opposes motion. It tries to stop a moving object. Magnetic force is the force exerted by a magnet on iron objects. Now the new words, some new words are given. Force, a push or a pull. Muscular force, the force exerted by the muscles. Frictional force, the force that opposes motion. Gravitational force, the force of the earth that pulls all objects towards itself. So all of you will learn the new words and all definitions of the force forces. Now our chapter is completed. So everybody will learn the new words. Read the chapter carefully in home assignment. Thank you everyone.